Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Texas Pain Network. Today's topic is what you need to know about arthritis in your joints. Arthritis is the number one leading cause of disability in America, with over 50 million Americans being affected. It does involve inflammation of one or more of your joints, with the main symptoms being joint pain and stiffness, which typically gets worse with age. The two main types of arthritis are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So when you look at osteoarthritis, it's wear and tear, DJD, which is degenerative joint disease. Basically, cartilage is breaking down. With rheumatoid arthritis, it's actually an autoimmune disease, and the body's working against itself. It actually targets the lining of the joints first, called the synovial tissue. There are many other types of arthritis, psoriatic, lupus, crystalline arthritis, which is basically gout, um, but the main two are osteo and rheumatoid. Why does arthritis occur? Well, with osteoarthritis, it's a ratio problem. We continue to make cartilage throughout life at the same rate, okay? But what happens with osteoarthritis is you're actually losing it faster than you're making it. So the ratio is off and you end up with, you know, uh, degenerative joint disease. With rheumatoid arthritis, more women than men are affected. It's basically the immune system making antibodies against the tissues in one's own body and there has not been shown to be a hereditary component. There are certain risk factors, uh, family history in some types, increasing age. Um, more females than males have rheumatoid arthritis. For gout, it's the opposite, more males than females. Uh, Post-trauma, so if you have a sports injury or a car accident and you have a defect in your cartilage, that's going to accelerate arthritis. And then obesity, for every extra pound that you have, that's four extra pounds across your weight-bearing joints. The symptoms of arthritis usually involve pain, stiffness, swelling, decreased range of motion. There are quite a few treatment options for arthritis. Activity avoidance, you know, if it hurts, you shouldn't do it or do it less, okay? Such as running, maybe you should try cross-training with swimming or cycling. Medications may include over-the-counter oral medications um, or prescription medications. Um, and if they're narcotics, they should only be given during times of exacerbation. And then topical prescription pain creams or patches can be very beneficial. Bracing uh, for either hip or knee arthritis or ankle uh, can take 50% of the stress off a joint. Uh, cane can be um, uh, very beneficial for the same reason. Physical therapy and chiropractic treatment along with acupuncture and TENS units. When it comes to interventional treatment, steroid injections have been a gold standard for decades. They can work really, really well. Hyaluronic acid injections have been FDA approved for the last 15 years, and they're known as either Synvisc or Hyalgan. They're covered by insurance. Uh, studies have shown over 80% pain relief for over six months in most um, uh, patients. Prolotherapy is a regenerative medicine procedure along with PRP and stem cell injections. Uh, and then radiofrequency ablation for either the spine or for the knee um, has become a great option for long-term pain relief. When you look at non-operative arthritis treatment, the vast majority of patients are able to avoid surgery for arthritis or significantly delay it. You know, joint replacements are not meant to last forever. They are a quality of life procedure. The success rates with steroid, hyaluronic acid, and regenerative medicine injections are over 75%. Radiofrequency ablation has shown over an 80% effectiveness rate. Topical pain creams, they've been looked at in uh, several studies, and 83% effectiveness for all types of chronic pain conditions, such as arthritis. I mean, thankfully, arthritis is not a deadly disease. It never killed anybody. So if these options can be tried and can give relief, then you avoid any of the potential risks of surgery. The top non-operative pain management in Texas is through the Texas Pain Network. There are several clinics participating throughout the state, accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 first-rate treatments with the board-certified doctors. For treatment in Austin, visit us online today at painmanagementaustintx.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 512-456-8886. I'm Dr. David Green with the Texas Pain Network. Your pain stops here.